Well, I'm back to another match preview. We are back on the Sunday. Well, Saturday when I'm recording this, but fuck it, we'll call it Sunday. Because why not? Um, but yeah, game's coming thick and fast, and that's what's great. Like, you can put us to the middle of lockdown when there was nothing on. The thing you could only bet on was, like, virtual shit. Yeah, you know, you know, and now there's like football on every day, so it's great. But talking about football, we're taking on Motherwell away, twelve o'clock kickoff, clashes with the F one, which is pish. Um, but I think in terms of this game, I think if, like I said against Willem, if we turn up, we're going to tank Motherwell and see this whole gimmick. Of, oh, but we played first the two, brother. I well, so did Motherwell, right? They they got tanked three 0 by H Hopel Bear Shiva. Um, but in all fairness. Um, they were actually not bad. They were the better team, and uh, yeah, should have done something. But see, to be honest, people can say Motherwell had a good run, right? But no, I disagree with that. You, wait, you beat Glenn Torn and Corey, and and you and you drew with Corey and just scraped through on penalties, right? I I, I may be a wee bit better over that because it cost me sixteen hundred quid, right? Maybe, but let's be real. Motherwell should be smoking both of them. Like based off last season, like the third best team in Scotland can't beat two Derry teams in Northern Ireland, come on man, you do the math. Motherwell, it wasn't a great run in Europe, it was the minimum you'd expect. Scottish teams, considering they're seeded, should always be making it to the third round. There should be no progress incidents, there should be no um, bloody Connor Quay nomad incidents, there should be none of that. And Celtic getting put out, same with that, there should be none of that, you know what I mean? Like, like get, beating R Riga 1-0, shocking like from a Celtic point of view, but Less about Motherwell in the Europa League and in this game. And Motherwell have been pretty dog shit in the league this season. But then last week, after somehow getting torn to shreds in some aspects against Korean, turn up at Pataudry and win 3 0. Was it down to Motherwell being good or was it down to Aberdeen being pish? Well, I actually watched the majority of that game and it turns out that Aberdeen were just pish. Three sloppy goals. And when you're 3-0 doing, the game's dead. I mean, after what, it was like 20 minutes or something. Yeah, the game's dead at that point. So, I think, honestly, I do believe if we just turn up here, we play in any sort of fashion that we did against Willem, we'll win. But the only problem is, Motherwell aren't going to play like Willem did. There's not going to be that many gaps. But as we've seen, right, with Morelos, when he took that shot, may not have been the greatest shot at all time, but keepers make mistakes when you just hit, you, you smash shots at them. Like, the like keeper quality in the SPL, it's not like every one of them is going to be Jan Oblak, you know? They will make mistakes, so... See this whole... See, like, I just don't get... See the whole sideboards gimmick looking for the, the perfect thing? Not Just fucking drill, keep on drilling them with shots. Like, I get it when it's maybe, like, 89th minute, you need to get the perfect pass, kind of. Because you need to, like, it needs to count, you can't just keep on hitting shots. But, for me, early on... You should be fucking absolutely at their back door and front door and, you know what I mean, pounding them with shots and this sounds a wee bit dodgy, but you, you get what I'm saying. And I believe if we do that, man, this will be a piece of piss. Stephen Robinson will be greeting at half time. But what I'd like to see here is Cedric Itton get a goal. Now, am I saying get him, play him, start him? No. <laughs> should be nowhere near the team, let's be real. Well, in terms of starting, he shouldn't be. To me, he's third choice in terms of who have actually got fit. Because I don't really... I mean, I know Greg Stewart got a goal against um, Lincoln... Wait, did he get a goal against Lincoln Red Imps? Did he? I don't think he did. I think he got, I mean, I think he got an assist, actually. Um, but to be honest, I'd maybe like to see Jordan Jones start, but then I guess you could say his pace could stretch maybe well late on, but... I'm seeing Hadji getting a lot of hate, but see, to be honest, I don't think Hadji's even playing that bad. It's not like, like, I'll admit, yes, he does do the odd sloppy pass, but see, like, Davis has been doing that, and he's getting a lot of praise. Like, to me, I'd rather Hadji actually have an impact, because he, he wins free kicks, he wins fouls, he skins people. Yes, he may he can be sloppy and give away the ball, but let's be real, Motherwell aren't exactly the team that's going to punish you every time in that. And I'd rather him be like that, and like, make little mistakes like that than be like Itton. I'm not just having a go at Itton here, even though it may sound like that. But every time Itton's come on recently, we've been down to 10 men. He's done nothing. He came on against Hibs and would anyone have known he was playing? No. Nah. Apart from the fact you knew he was on the pitch. <laughs> you just, you wouldn't, you wouldn't know. 
So to me, it's not even like... But I, don't, I just don't get... Like, I get... But then people are like, oh, well, Haji's new. So we got to give him... No, Itton's new, you got to give him time. But so's Haji. To a degree, I mean, the guy had, like, what, 11 matches before the season just fucking blew up and end it. But, yeah. To me, Itton, mate, you need to start making an impact. Haji's getting a lot of unjust stick. But Ryan Kent is the main man at the minute. Um, who said, fuck... I can't remember who said, but someone said he could be in line for an England um, cop. And to be honest, why the hell not? Seeing you see the likes of like Ruben Loftus Cheek getting called up, the, I mean the likes of that, Eric Dyer. I mean, is there how is I, like, I'll admit England are a lot better in the attacking areas, but to me, just give Kent a chance. But I say that, but then you look at Grealish, and he only got his chance recently. And to me, if Grealish is only getting his chance, Kent is nowhere near going to get his chance because, well, he plays in the SPL. Big Gareth Southgate couldn't manage a fucking brothel. But anyway, back to this game, and I'm going to go with a 3-0 win. We're going to walk up there, well, down there, to Motherwell, and absolutely destroy them. Kent, Morelos, and fuck it, big Cedric getting diving, scorpion kick, 97th minute winner, even though this would never add on 7 minutes. But yeah, till next time, man, that's what I'm going with. Peace.